So let's start by reading some of the work that factoring. Okay, so let's look at factoring. And I'm going to start in this one, factoring out what we call the GCF, that greatest common factor. So a couple of examples that you may find, um, 8y minus 24. What you're looking for is either a number or a variable that is in common to these. So in this case, 8 is common, right? Because this is just 8. This is actually 8 times 3. So we factor it out by using the inverse of the distributive property. So this is equal to 8 times the quantity y minus 3, right? We took the 8 from the y, and that's why we're left with y. We took the 8 from the 24 by dividing, and that's what gave us the 3. If we have this one, 15k to the third minus 24k squared. In this case, we have a number and a variable in common. So we're going to take out a 3, which is common to both 15 and 24, and a k squared. We take out the smallest exponent to the variable. We divide the numbers. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Remember, we're dividing, so we're subtracting exponents. That comes from our rules of exponents. So we're left with 1k. 3 minus 2 is 1. Minus 24 divided by 3 is 8. And k squared, well, we've already gotten rid of it. So we're just left with 3k squared times the quantity 5k minus 8. A couple other rules that go with this. If we have a negative in the front, well, we factor it out as a negative. So for example, if we have 3x plus 6y, we see that the common factor is a 3, but we're taking it out as a negative because the leading term is negative. So we're left with x. We're dividing a positive by a negative. So that's going to become a negative. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So that is a 2y. Another example, negative 6x squared minus 18x plus 24. In this case, again, we have a common factor of 6, so we factor out that negative 6. What are we left with? x squared, again, you're changing the sign, plus 3x, positive divided by a negative, makes that a minus, oops, 6 divided 24, do, 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 is a 4. Okay, sorry about that. And the last one of this is when I have a binomial. And when I have a binomial, it's very easy to factor. A times the quantity x minus 4 plus 5 times the quantity x minus 4. Well, I'm factoring out what's in common, which is x minus 4, and times the leftovers which is a plus 5. If I have another example of this, uh, the most interesting, p times the quantity m minus 6 plus the quantity m minus 6. If we notice something, yes, we have that common factor of m minus 6. What's our leftovers this time? We have a p. Plus, well, there's no number in the front, so we put it as a 1. Okay, these are the three basic ones when we're factoring out a GCF.